In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can index BCF files using BCF tools. So let's quickly look at the instructions on the BCF tools manual page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box as well. So from the page here, we know that BCF tools generate two types of index files. So we have the first one, which is the CSI formats, and then we also have the TBI formats, which is here. Okay, so um, each of these formats um, can be used for a particular um, scenarios or particular situations. So we just look at them. So um, CSI supports indexing of chromosomes up to this length. Okay, so that is, and we also have the TBI, which supports um, chromosome lengths up to this uh, one here. So um, depending on I mean your VCF file and then the contents, okay, you just have to know which of these formats you have to use to uh, um, do your work. So uh, that's what we are going to look at. So just know um, that information. So let's proceed. So for this tutorial, you need to make sure um, you have BCF tools installed on your PC. Okay, so that is what we are going to use. Okay, for data sets, uh, we have a publicly available one that we are going to use. So um, let's proceed. We will begin by first downloading an example data. Okay, so we are going to use a VCF file which is available on my GitHub repo. And this is the page. I will leave the link in the description box for you to also visit this repo and then download it. But before we download, let me also say that the data sets here were prepared using data from the Thousand Genomes projects. So this is a page for the Thousand Genomes projects FTP site where you have several VCF files that you can use. Okay, so I downloaded and downsampled the VCF files and then merged them. Okay, so let me also say that the files here are very heavy. And so um, if I'm going to use them, um, you just have to know that they are heavy. So, and that's it. But the files I prepared from this ones here are here on my GitHub repo. So they are very, very small. Okay, uh, the sizes are very, very small. So you can download them quickly and easily and use them on your PC without any challenge. You can use them on ordinary PCs. Okay, so that's how it is. So let's download the data. For this exercise, we are going to use this file, all.snipsindels.vcf.gz. This file is what we are going to use. To download it, you first have to click on it. You can also double click. And then you'll be sent to another page. On this page, move to the right side. Just follow my cursor. Move to the right side and you'll see a download button here. So there's a button labeled download. That is what we are going to use. I'll show you two approaches to use to download this file. The first approach is used if you want to download using the browser. What you do is to click on it and then you'll be asked to save. So I will save it on my PC. Make sure you save it in a location where you have access to the file. Okay, so there's one way to download the file. The other approach is used if you are working on a remote server where you have access to only the terminal or the command line. For that, you need to have the download link. Okay, so that is what you need. So to get the download link, still bring your cursor over to the button. And then what you do is you just right click it. Okay, so once you right click it, you go to this copy link here and then just click on it. Okay. So I am using a Firefox browser, so this is how I do it. But using the other browsers to be able to get the download link. So once you have this download link, you move to the terminal and continue from there. So on the terminal, the first thing I will do is to create a working directory. So I will say make the VCFs. I will then cd to it. The reason why I do this is to separate files that I'll be generating for this exercise from other files on my PC. Okay, so doing this helps you to organize your files and prevent accidental removal of files and modification of files. So that is why I create directories for every project that I do. So now it's time to download the data. So I will use widgets for it. So I'll say widgets and I'll supply it with the 
download link of the file, the VCF file. And then I'll run it. Please take note that aside we get the other tools that can help you to download files from the internet. Okay, so just use an appropriate tool to get your data downloaded. So let's run this command. So now the data has been downloaded. Let's first clear the screen and continue. Let's do an ls first to check the file. So there it is. Now let's start the indexing. We will begin with the first type, which is CSI. So we say BCF tools index and we specify the VCF file. Okay, so um, by default, BCF tools generates the CSI formatted index files. Okay, so we don't need to specify any option in this command. This is what we need. So let's run it. That is done. So do an ls and you'll find that the file has been generated. So this is the CSI um, format. Let's look at the second one, which is the TBI. And format so for that one we say bcf tools index and we specify dash t and then we specify the vcf file and then we run it okay so that's how we do it so we run it and then that is also generated so we say ls and you will get it also here so that's it this is the um, tabix index um, file okay so does it so that's how we do it okay to get the um, index file so just uh, know your your vcf files know their properties and get the information so that you can use the appropriate index file for your work so that's it so uh, that'll be all for this tutorial so you can watch the other tutorials on vcf manipulations and um, using the playlist i'm showing right now so see you in the next session